Hey everybody, this is my WG CO2 powered Colt 1911. WG stands for wind gun, that's the type of brand. Just like WE is like gas ball back, but I don't know what the meaning of it is. This is the box, shows you where you can adjust your hop up, your sights, tactical rails, and how to load your CO2. And on here shows like non blowback mag and everything, different type of brands you can get, and all that. Just blowback mag. First, what you will see when you open the box, you'll get this little manual of your gun. And I got this gun from evic.com, but the only thing I hate about evic is that like it takes a long time for them to ship it. Airsoft station takes like two days. I love that shipped out of their place like that. So, I like Airsoft Station a lot more. Except for Evic, they have a little bit more stuff, but I don't care about that. Shows you how to adjust your hop up and all that. And where to and all that. I don't ever adjust my hop ups because, yeah, I don't really understand what's the point. Anyways, after that, what you'll see is this little tool you have to adjust your hop up and your iron sights. Then what you will see is your WG CO2 powered Colt 1911. As you can see, it's fully metal except for the pistol grip. Everything else is metal except for the orange tip. Some of them orange tips are metal, some not. It comes with one CO2 power, one CO2 full metal magazine. Put the CO2 right there, and then you spin that little thing on the bottom. That's what I love about it. And when you pull down this to load your BBs, there's this little thing. One second. It, like, hits the bottom right there. There's a little thing, and then, so it keeps the spring down. That's what I love. So you don't have to hold it down. And you just flick that back up, and then it pushes the BBs up. So I'm... I don't usually forget, but my partners, if I let them use it, sometimes I forget. I to show them. Now, this is not blowback. You can get a blowback magazine to make it blowback. And actually, I should get that so I can make it blowback. I should try that. Anyways, one second. I'll... I cannot um take this part. I don't know how to do it with the cult. Yeah. And pull this back. I think that's your pop up right there. I think. I think that little um screw. Let me look in the box. Yeah. I think that's your little hop up right there. I think. I'm not sure. But I don't care about the hop up. I lubricated it with silicon oil. You can see a little bit of silicon oil. When. And, uh, metal hammer and all that down the sides. It's got a white tip at the end. That's nice how they have that. It's very nice. I love this gun. Not as much as I love my M190. I love that gun a lot. This has a bottom rail. It's put like a green dot and everything else. I was going to put my green dot under here, but like I said in my other video, it broke. And if you like press that little button right there, I don't want to do it. The gas will just come flying out of there. And yeah. Um I guess I'll go down and sell and shoot with it you want. Switch my again. Now I guess we'll go downstairs. In this one video I'll do a shooting test, I got <laughs> Alright. Okay, ready? It's running a little bit out of CO2, so that's why I don't really do a shooting test because sometimes the battery's dead and all that. Anyways, it's running a little bit of out of CO2, so it's not as powerful and, like, better the gas or the battery. It's usually lost FPS, and I think it's a little bit less the accuracy, because the speed's going down. 
So yeah, this has been the video review of the WG CO2 powered Colt 1911. Thanks for watching.